Let me just say a word about the linear economy and how it depends upon uh, cheap energy, cheap materials and uh, cheap credit, actually. In the post-war era, we had all of those things. It was quite remarkable. Uh, the petroleum revolution was fully underway so that the price of oil was around, in today's money, about $20 a barrel or less. Uh, materials were in abundance because the war effort had, had upped production of all sorts of metals and plastics and all the rest of it. And there was a, cust and a customer base that was keen to get away from the, from the restrictions of rationing and the destruction that had been wrought in the Second World War. So the idea of producing lots of stuff, making it available, making it cheap, and if people couldn't afford it, uh, in some countries there was something called higher purchase, which was a way of buying on credit. Then later on there were things like credit cards, loans and overdrafts. The idea was that you could have it now and pay for it later because employment in these years was also booming. So there was no trouble uh, really in paying it all back. You could have it now, buy now, pay later, enjoy it all. And as uh, Harold uh, Macmillan, I think, uh, said, you've never had it so good. So this was an era which I think everybody uh, in, the, in the more developed nations enjoyed post-war, which was around cheap energy, cheap materials, and cheap credit. Now that was just a passing phase. You know, that wasn't the natural state of the world. That was a, a particular thing that happened, a particular coming together. And the fact that it's not there anymore means we change the economics. As um, Keynes once said, if the facts change, I change my mind. What do you do? And um, it was simply trying to find a way through in changed circumstances. And now this is really quite exciting. It's nothing to be scared of. Mm -hmm.